नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डिजिटल मीडिया ऑफ उदय इंडिया टुडे इन इंडिया थिंग्स फ्रेंड्स आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर अजीत डोभाल द बिलीव इन आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एनी डिजीज दैट अप्रूट्स द डिजीजेस from its roots instead of doing any temporary allopathic treatment and why i am telling this let me explain you that as you know since the military coup in february 2001 21 in myanmar there has been a simmering conflict on india's north eastern border and more than 55 thousands of civilians have fled into the northeast of india from chin state and sejing region of myanmar and by permitting migrants to enter the nation while avoiding applying political pressure to the junta and its state administrative council or ssc new delhi has managed to maintain a careful delicate balance but as things in myanmar get worse india is reconsidering its stance before the consequences pose a real threat to its interests a cursory look at the map reveals that the siliguri corridor or chicken neck a narrow strip of land is the only thing separating india's eight north eastern states from the rest of the nation The area borders Myanmar by 994 miles, and the Indian states of Mizoram, Manipur, and Nagaland have familial and ethnic ties that reach into Sejing region and Chin state of Myanmar. Manipur has been plagued by insurgency since early 1960s, and terrorists from that region. freely enter and conceal themselves in myanmar terrorists from myanmar visit manipur whenever they like you are you can ask the soldiers that are stationed there and manipur's reputation as a gateway to the east is not on desert china the resentful and unforgiving unforgiving never to the north provides terrorists in the northeast with a lot of help coming in china is the hub of numerous complex northeast organizations with intrinsic and unbreakable financial military and other ties and it would be foolish to think that china's won't take advantage of the enormous strategic and security openings in the northeast Myanmar which is used by China to burn the northeast time and again and this time Manipur is flaring up but Myanmar rebels have seized vital border towns and now China is calling for a ceasefire friends the anti junta forces have seized control of one of Myanmar's most important border towns with China and it is hurting China a lot and classes between china's junta government and rebels fighting for restoration of democracy in myanmar shan and kachin states along with china's border are disrupting trade between both the nations with a possible refugee problem in china the classes in these two states are now having a cascading effect on other border areas also people's defense forces or pdfs and kachin independent army are resisting myanmar's junta government backed by china in an unorganized manner and separately now suddenly they have formed an alliance to take on the chinese backed junta jointly and 41 junta troops from the light infantry brigade have already surrendered the base and ran away now this entire area is under rebel control which is hurting china a lot 
प्रोजेक्ट्स कनेक्टेड टू चाइना म्यांमार इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर और सी एम ई सी आर सीरियसली थ्रेटन बाय दीज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द सी एम ई सी पासिस थ्रू द हाईली कम्बेटिव नॉर्दर्न सान एंड कचिन स्टेट्स इन टू म्यांमार क्रॉस बॉर्डर ट्रेड हज प्लॉमेटेड इन रिसेंट मंथ्स डाउन टू थर्टी परसेंट फ्रॉम ए ईयर एगो लार्जली ड्यू टू फाइटिंग इन दैट रीजन and since the ethnic armed group suspended from the agreement that was signed the nation wide cease fire agreement with the military several years ago there is little reason to believe that the current wave of bloodshed would end soon the fact that certain ethnic armed organizations are giving anti cough demonstrators a place to stay and a military training the require to organize armed self defense forces is another factor contributing to the unrest the increased fighting in san and kachin states have most importantly for china opened a fragile piece that its border province of yunnan depends on to promote economic growth Investment is drawn to Yunnan and underdeveloped province due to its advantageous location as a gateway to Southeast Asia. Investor concern has already been heightened by the recent fighting south of the border, which could result in the closure of operational industries and dampen chances for a bustling corridor via Myanmar to the Indian Ocean. Many. Chinese nationals will most likely to return to poverty as a result of such an economic hit. Now connect dots dots with Manipur violence which was flared up by cookies exported by China via Myanmar. China was also to target Mizoram as a part of its plan but now it itself is bleeding. Have you observed Manipur violence is scaling down rapidly in the last one month of course stray incidents continue but the scale is minimal now you must be remembering one of our episodes where we told you about the unknowns that are keeping our interest safe on our western borders just as Bharat has no connection with Balochur Liberation Army (TTP) and Sindh Revolution Army, which have brought Pakistan Army down to their knees, bringing substantial peace to Bharat's western borders. Similarly, Bharat has no connection with the rebel fronts in Myanmar, which will bring peace on the eastern borders. Friends, this is a good uh, input. and analysis in fact on the northeast and stay tuned with uday india to get much updates on northeastern states in the border of china that's all for today bharat mata ki jai